Welcome to Xtreme Media's product presentation of our carbon coder importer. Let me show you the features in a live demo. I've opened carbon coder in one of the latest releases, but that does not matter. Our importer plugin works with all carbon coders from generation 3. I've prepared three different sample files problematic sample files. There's a ProRes file, there's an MKV file, and there's an MP4 file. Let's start with the MP4 file. It's a recording from an earlier session about our one GUI product. As you can see, with drag and drop, Carbon Coder loads the source file with no problem. We can play it, we can do frame accurate in and out point settings. And obviously we can transcode the file. Now why is that special? Let's have a look for a carbon coder without our plugin installed. Here I've opened a remote desktop to one of our demo farms. It's again a carbon coder, same generation, but without the plugin. And I will take the same sample file. It's our one GUI demo file. Again, the MP4 file, it loads, but as you can see, it does not use our importer. How can we see this? Let's switch back. Here in the metadata settings, at the very, very top, it says Importer is Xtreme Media Universal Importer Module. At our installation in the demo lab without the importer, we do not see that, so the original importer is used. And here, that's the problem. The Standard importer cannot seek within the file, and for that reason we cannot position, we cannot play, we cannot define any in and out points. Let's make another example. Let's take Big Buck Bunny file, a sample file, an MKV file. Our Xtreme Media Universal Importer loads it with no problem. We can see all the technical details or the parameters, we can even play it. With no problem, we can scrub through it. Again, we can set in and out points, can build lists from those. All the standard features from Carbon are available. Back again to our Carbon Coder without our plugin. Let's take the same Big Buck Bunny MKV file and we'll see after a moment that Carbon states that the standard built-in importers are not able to support this file format. Bad luck for us. Last but not least, let's take a ProRes file. Again, our importer loads it with no problem. We get access to all the technical details and we can play it. Back again to Carbon Coder without our plugin. Also, Carbon loads the file, shows technical metadata as well, and allows to play it. Now, where is the difference? With our module, you do not have limitations that Carbon will face, so difficulties about correct color space handlings and obviously as well speed. One of the big advantages of our importer, it's better multi-threaded and for that reason it leads into way faster transcodes with Carbon Coder. So to conclude, our importer is good for supporting file formats that the standard Carbon Coder does not support and to fix certain bugs within Carbon Coder. It helps to overcome limitations, it helps to speed up 
and when you start making test transcodes you will see that it also improves the quality um, of the transcoding outputs so the target formats thank you so much for attending this short session on our carbon coder plugin we would love to see you soon again on our website www.x-dream-media.com. Thank you so much.